Hi, I'm Sue. I'm at Brampton Primary School, working with the Year 6 class, delivering a lesson from the We Can Do It series. The idea behind the lessons are developing children's mathematical thinking at a deeper level and tweaking their thinking, their understandings through higher order questioning and then discussing their own ideas with each other. Let's take a look. Good morning, Year 6. Good morning, Miss Eve. OK, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to do a maths activity. We're going to be doing a lot of thinking, OK? What we're going to be looking at is recording calculations using appropriate symbols accurately and systematically. I'm going to give you about five minutes to work with a pair. Record as many numbers as you can from 1 to 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Work out using only the number 3. You've got to find the totals of 1, 2, 3, 4, only using 3, using addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Hang on, Eva Beavers. Brackets. You only need to share one piece of paper between two. Get your ideas going. Off you go. All right. Yeah, two times. Um, there must be another one. Three times three, take away three. That's a six. I know, but we haven't got six, have we? Oh, no, we don't. But that kind of is. Three times three. Add one, three, and three. And add three. And three. And then. So three times three. Two times three. Equal 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 Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. So have a think. See, this one you can't have. Three times two, add two. Three times, yeah, two, add You can't have two. You can only use three. Three times three. OK, guys. Three, two, one. Looking this way. There are some fabulous ideas. Shemaya and Sarah came up with this one for two. And we looked at it and we've tweaked it a little bit. They wrote three plus three equals six divided by three equals two. Now, how could we make that a neater calculation? Using brackets, there's a clue. Using brackets, how can we tidy that one up? Simona. Put the brackets around the three and three. Put the, why around three and three? Um, because, like, um, it's the smallest number. It's the smaller, OK. So you're saying because it's the smallest number? And then you do six divided by three. Yeah. All right, so you need to divide the six by the three, which is why we've got the brackets. So divided by three. And then that gives you two. As you can see from the lesson, the children were totally involved, they were enjoying it, they were having fun, their learning progressed without them even realising it. And this is the wonder of the beam materials, we can do it. The ideas are there, the questions are given to you to scaffold, but you can tweak them to suit your children with minimal effort. It really is a great resource to have in the classroom to develop that deeper level mathematical thinking. That's what BEAM is about, children and teachers having fun side by side and children really fulfilling their potential in maths.